so I have started taking this apart. Cut this front bit off. Oh, sorry, it's real tight in here trying to work this camera. My, my biggest issue getting this off was down in there, there is the parts that connect to your lever bit. And, you know, they got carter pins in them. In order to get to those, you got to unhook it at the very top, right by your hydraulic oil fill hole. It should be under your seat. There's a hole right there that you got to pull it out of after you get the carter pin out. And then it's got to go this way without catching on this because it hooks. And that's your biggest problem getting it out. Uh, this is your height adjustment screw right next to your fill. And this adjustment, um, I guess a previous owner put a whole lot of little washers on there. Little bitty ones there that I don't feel I needed. But the way that works is, let's see if I can't set the, hell no, I can't set the camera down right. All right, well, see if I can reach around here and adjust this by hand since it's not connected anymore. Uh, yeah, there it is, I think. Oh, I can't get enough pressure. Okay. The handle in the way. Let's see. All right, so this is your upper bounds. This is how you do your stopping adjustment. Uh, that way it'll stop this from moving any further, even though you looked up the handle. Mine's got a little play in it. By play, I mean it's, it's definitely got some room to change, but that is connected to here. This hammer is what stops this from going in the forward direction anymore for this. Uh, see, I actually have a problem with this piece here. The joint has come undone and it'll come out sometimes. I don't know if you can see, I just separated it a little bit. It, it more or less stays where it belongs, but that pushes that to lift and lower the machine. Uh, right now, I believe I got it in height control. Pushing this up would then put me in draft. This is supposed to be more left. As you can see, the gap right there is bigger now as opposed to it being all the way to the right, which is there, but it doesn't line up with this. So sometimes that comes undone and I have to take this whole box apart, but I don't have 200 and something dollars to buy a whole new piece. I'm gonna go to a tractor shop and see if they can fabricate a new joint there for me. But this is your draft control bit. And again, this should stop it from going anymore. But once it's all the way up, you can drop this back down and this is supposed to be your position control as opposed to draft. You see it's coming undone again. But I want to tap into it and put a washer and a screw on the other side to keep it from coming out. I just don't have any bits good enough. Probably get some uh, carbide, tungsten carbide. But it's real hard to get to that bit. I'm sorry, I, I sidetracked on you. Uh, right here is your fill cap. Again, this is your adjustment screw, which is right next to your handle for your height adjustment. Okay, and it is connected right here, and it'll have a carter pin, which I pulled out here. And it's a real pain, and I don't know if you can see, but down there in the bottom, I dropped the washer that was on it. And, uh gonna be a pain to get that hopefully it is an actual piece of metal and, and not the same kind of metal a coin is made out of to where I can't pick it up with a magnet 
made a bit of a mess in the front here. Why won't you focus? There we go. All right, so my, oh goodness, I got grease all on my phone. Hell yeah. All right, sorry, I don't ever plug anything to the headphone jack anyway, right? All right, so this up front is going to be the piston. You can see the sides of it here. And I have a copper ring with a, an O-ring over it that has been smashed into oblivion. Uh, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I do have a tear right Focus, you fuck. I guess I just don't want to. So, right here, that's an actual uh, rubber piece that's not metal. So, that should go away. And it doesn't appear to have scarred up the actual piston head on this one. You know, I gotta say, this is a, uh, a long manufactured uh, in Tarboro. So, Brasov, Romania, made in 83, 84, maybe, long 460. And, I mean, it cranks right the fuck up. Um, been having issues with batteries, but I think it's just because I was cheap and uh, bought the $50 battery from Walmart instead of the $100 battery. Now, ideally, you should take the entire assembly off for servicing this, but I haven't got around to it. I am gonna pull the piston out and make sure that the sleeve and the piston itself are good, but that's gonna involve removing the rear end here, taking all this stuff apart, and disconnect it here, I have to disconnect these, pull this freaking leaf spring out, pull this freaking back plate to get to that in the first place but for right now I already had the gasket for this piece, which this is the old gasket. It was holding very well, mind you. Um, I just, for some reason, lost three point control. And uh, because of that, I decided to go ahead and tear it open. Uh, no videos that I found on the internet for anything like this. So, I mean, maybe I can get somebody to hold a camera or something for me later on. But as of right now, all I got is my phone, and it doesn't really help that it's dark outside. So, let me get this sorted out. Uh, if anybody's wondering, this is actually the, the wire that uh, I ran for my rear light back there. That uh, I mounted myself, you know. Um, it's just not connected at the moment. Uh, it would connect into this or this. I actually rewired the entire tractor so but yeah this is this is basically the project i'm looking at right now hopefully uh i can show y'all more detail maybe some more information during the day uh, good luck on your next project